M0FXB, welcome to my video about the GD77. If you find this useful, please like and subscribe. 73. M0FXB, let's get a repeater, a digital repeater into our GD77 open CPS or co plug. So, so we've got our DMR ID in all, uh, already. M0FXB there. So let's just go to digital contacts next. So double click where it says dig digital contacts. We need to either add a contact or use one we've already got. Now there's quite a few here. If you want to add one, just right click and click add. And then group call. And say, let's say it's going to be, we're going to call it 2350. It doesn't have to be a number, but the, the number underneath does need to be the number of the talk group you want to access when you're on the repeater. So 2350. So that this number, call ID is the important number and group call. Once you've got that, that's your contact created. It's basically a talk group created that you can use in a channel that you're going to now create. So let's add a new channel here. Go right click, add. It's going to be a digital channel. We'll call it GB77BD. Let's get the frequencies in there. Now remember that you don't have shifts. Uh, let's, uh, let's say the name already exists because I've already done it. gb 7 B, D, and we're going to go call it number two. Okay, so there are no shifts in DMR code plugs. There's receive and transmit. So the receive on that particular repeater is 430.950, and again, it's digital, like so. And then you can send that across and then just add the shift, which is 438550, 438.550. Okay. So that's the receive and transmit frequencies. Timeout you can set here. Uh, right, now, talk group lists. up to you if you want to put it into a list. I don't think that's important. I haven't got one of these radios, so tell me if I'm wrong. Now, the color code says here on the website that it's three, and then we need to give it a contact. Now, if you talk, use talk group nine, you can then, if you've got the right radio, use the radio to manually type different talk groups. But... Um, we're going to add an actual talk group here, 2350. That means that when you transmit, it will tell the repeater to go to that talk group uh, if the repeater allows it. So repeater slot, let's use number two. Again, look it up on the repeater website. We're going to use color code three, which is like CTCSS and slot two. So, okay, so that's your channel created. Now, we want to be able to find our channels. So, go to zone. Let's create a new zone, and we'll call it add, and we'll call that zone, double-click it. We'll call it repeat, di digital repeaters. Not sure if it will fit the whole lot. Digital repeaters. So, we now know we can put all our digital repeaters in that zone. So, there you go. And then these are the two channels I've just created. So, we just highlight them, and then click add, then add. So we've got two digital repeaters in our zone that is called digital repeater. So when you turn on the radio and you're selecting zones, you select the one that says digital repeater, uh, and then within that will be all the channels you've decided to put in it. And you create the channels here underneath as many as you as you want. Well, within reason, I'm not sure what the limitations are. So once you've done that, remember I don't have this radio, you then just send it to your radio. So you click right. It's not gonna let me do that because I haven't got a radio. <laughs> um, but remember that before you connect the radio, you need to download the driver so it shows up in the COM port. And then once you've connected it, just send it across and you'll be able to add your um, digital repeater to your GD77. 73, thanks for watching. All the best.